drones, or unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, have been used by the military for decades. The earliest recorded use of drones in military operations dates back to World War I, when the US Navy developed pilotless aerial torpedoes that were launched from ships. However, it was during the Vietnam War that drones really came into their own. The US military used drones to perform surveillance missions and target and strike enemy positions. These early drones were remotely controlled and relied on human operators to fly them. Over time, drones have become smaller, more advanced, and more autonomous. Modern drones are equipped with sophisticated cameras, sensors, and weapon systems that allow them to perform a wide range of missions, from reconnaissance and surveillance to targeted strikes. Despite some controversy over their use, drones have become an essential tool in modern military operations allowing commanders to gather intelligence and strike targets with greater precision and reduced risk to human life. The military uses various types of drones, each designed to perform specific tasks. Combat drones, also known as weaponized drones, are designed to carry out targeted strikes on enemy positions. They are equipped with a range of weapons, including missiles, bombs, and machine guns. They can be remotely controlled or programmed to operate autonomously. These drones are typically used in areas where it's too dangerous to send in manned aircraft or ground troops. Surveillance drones, however, are used to gather intelligence and provide situational awareness. They're equipped with high-resolution cameras, sensors, and other advanced technologies that allow them to monitor enemy movements, identify targets, and track changes on the battlefield. These drones can also be used for reconnaissance and mapping. Targeting drones are a specialized type of drone used to locate and identify targets for combat drones. They use sensors and other technologies to pinpoint enemy positions and feed that information back to commanders, who can then use it to direct strikes against those targets. Delivery drones are used to transport supplies, equipment, and other materials to troops in the field. These drones are typically smaller and less advanced than combat or surveillance drones, but they play a crucial role in logistical support. Probably the best-known drone we've seen in recent conflicts is the Predator. Developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, the Predator drone has been in operation since the 1990s and has been used extensively in conflicts such as the War on Terror. One of the key features of the Predator drone is its versatility. It can be equipped with various sensors and cameras, including infrared and low-light cameras, to provide real-time intelligence and surveillance. Additionally, the drone can carry up to four Hellfire missiles, allowing it to carry out targeted strikes against enemy positions. The drone has a maximum range of up to 1,150 miles and can stay aloft for up to 24 hours. This makes it well suited for long-duration surveillance and reconnaissance missions. The drone can be flown remotely using satellite communications to send and receive data in real time. This allows for more precise targeting and reduces the risk of harm to human pilots. All of these features are still regarded by most, whose knowledge of drones is casual at best, as revolutionary. But in reality, the Predator is built on outdated tech and leaves room for plenty of errors. The Predator drones are great for fighting against terrorists and insurgents because they usually don't have planes or air defenses. But they're not so great when fighting against a capable enemy because they are slow and can't move around quickly. In fact, the Air Force once tried to use a Predator to fight an Iraqi MiG-25 and lost the Predator. The tech on these drones is actually pretty rudimentary compared to new advances. Yes, they have a decent range and can carry some weaponry, but they're also slow, loud, and low-flying. Thankfully, much better drone technology is poised to replace the outdated Predators. The new Boeing MQ-25 drone will fly autonomously and integrate seamlessly with aircraft carriers. The MQ-25's primary mission is aerial refueling to extend the carrier air wing and strike group's range, operational capabilities, and lethality. Additionally, the MQ-25 will have surveillance capabilities and the possibility of carrying payloads to support operations. This drone, which is on the wish list for dozens of navies, is an example of the multitasking role the next generation of drones can play in combat. There is also the Black Hornet Micro Drone, a reconnaissance drone that's the size of a dragonfly. The Black Hornet system is designed to be worn by soldiers on foot. A screen flips out from a vest, and two drones and a joystick controller are tucked into a small separate pouch. When deployed, the Black Hornet can fly for about 25 minutes to approach enemy positions without being seen or heard, then transmit video to troops up to 1.2 miles or 2 kilometers away. These drones can also take and send photos and have basic thermal energy tech to help identify enemy positions at night. The Black Hornets have room for improvement, 
A good gust of wind can throw the tiny vehicles off course, and they can take almost 30 minutes to recharge. But they're a great example of drone technology designed to support and assist in highly unique missions. The ability for foot soldiers to see what lies beyond a hill without sending and possibly sacrificing a scout is genuinely remarkable. But perhaps the most exciting and important development in drone technology within the past few years is the addition of AI. And one of the most promising examples of modern AI drone technology is the family of Pegasus Autonomic Robotic Systems. Robotic Research has developed a family of autonomous robotic systems called Pegasus, which includes Transformable Unmanned Aerial Systems, or UAS, and Unmanned Ground Vehicles, or UGV. The Pegasus range is equipped with Artificial Intelligence, AI, which allows the vehicles to avoid obstacles and create complete 3D mapping in any environment. The Pegasus family encompasses three variants, including Mid-Size Pegasus 2, Heavy Lift Pegasus 3, and Small Backpackable Pegasus Mini. The transformable platforms feature quadcopter configuration and integrate tracks that transform into propeller guards during the transition from ground to air mode. Pegasus systems can be controlled by a Pocket Universal Controller, or PUC, that can simultaneously transmit autonomous missions to multiple Pegasus systems. The Pegasus family can perform various missions in areas inaccessible to other robots, such as flying through a building's upper window, landing inside, and moving around the top floor for investigation. The Pegasus 2 is a mid-sized drone that can be used for intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear missions. Known fondly as the Swiss Army Knife of Drugs, it can carry out operations in GPS-denied environments and save video, maps, and location information. It can travel in the air for 20 minutes or in ground mode for up to 4 hours. The larger Pegasus 3 can carry heavy payloads while maintaining combined flight and driving capabilities, while the Pegasus Mini can reach confined spaces in areas that are inaccessible to other autonomous vehicles. This versatility means the Mini can support missions from surveillance and combat situations to assessing medical needs in a hard-to-access disaster zone. Even as these new and improved drones are being implemented in modern military operations, the next generation of AI-equipped autonomous vehicles is already being created. One of the most notable features of these future AI drones is the incorporation of facial recognition technology, which allows drones to identify individuals from a distance based on their facial features. This kind of AI-driven tech has dozens of possible applications, including enhanced surveillance, monitoring large crowds, locating key targets, and identifying suspects immediately. While using facial recognition technology in drones has advantages, it raises concerns about privacy and potential misuse. There are fears that the technology could be used to monitor citizens' movements and activities without their knowledge or consent. Additionally, there are concerns about the accuracy of the technology particularly when it comes to identifying individuals of certain races or ethnicities. Then there is the question of who is ultimately responsible for a drone's action. If AI facial recognition makes an error that leads to injury or death of an innocent person, who is to blame? Let us know your thoughts about this in the comments below.